In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be to you, dear friends. I am your brother Mario Joseph from Philokalia. Presently, I am here in my home, and I am trying to broadcast a live video in my YouTube channel, Philokalia Official in English. There is a reason behind it. In the last two, three days, most of the calls what I receive or most of the emails what I receive is from the people, those who lost the job and they are seeking for job. They are seeking for the blessings, mainly financial blessings. I think everywhere people are suffering the same, especially in, in our country, in India, you know, in different states. Few months before, I can say almost four months, Three, more than three months before, I received a phone call from Dubai, United uh, Arab Emirates. And the person who spoke to me, she is not from Dubai. She is born and brought up in Hyderabad. Last daughter from a family. She has two elder sisters and a mother. Mother is very sick. Dad is no more. And two elder sisters are uneducated and not working. And they don't have financial backup. I mean, they don't have even their own house to stay. They are in a rental house and a lot of financial difficulties in their life. And she was working and she was the only person who earns for the entire family. But uh, during COVID, she lost her job and she doesn't know what to do. They were literally suffering. Finally, she went to her relatives and asked and borrowed some money from relatives and she decided to go to Dubai in search of a job. For 90 days, she went to Dubai. Three months visiting visa, searching for job. But almost the days are over. Only 10 days left in that 90 days. You know what she did? She calls me saying that, Brother Mario, I have only 10 days left here. Not yet. I'm successful. And if I go back home, I have to pay the money what I borrowed from them, which I don't have. And I don't know how to survive. Why this crisis and dark days in my life? Please pray for me. I prayed for some time and I gave her a word of God from Bible. That was 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 9. I repeat my brothers and sisters, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 9. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, even though he was rich. He adopted, he opted to become poor so that by his poverty, you must become rich. You might become rich. Such a beautiful word of God. You know why? Here the Bible says, you know that Jesus Christ was rich. Though he was rich, he became poor. Why, he, why we say that he was rich? At the same time, he is poor. You know why? Jesus was literally poor in that way. When he was born, there was no house for him. It's in manger. Not only that, when he grew up, there was no his own property or no bank balance or no gold or no chains, no ornaments, no expensive clothes, nothing. But at the same time, he was holding the credit card of Almighty God. Because if someone gives him two fish, he will multiply it for 5,000. And if someone gives him two bread, he will multiply it for 10,000 too. So no problem with him, he is rich. But at the same time, he opted to become poor on the cross. Because while he was on the cross, there was no food, there was no water. He suffered maximum. He became poor. Why? By his poverty, you might become rich. I did not say the word of God. When I gave this word to this lady who spoke to me from Dubai, saying that, look this word, touch this word, read this word, memorize this word, that word will work in you and you will get a job. She said, Brother Mario, once I attended a retreat in Divine Retreat Center, then I heard you were preaching there saying that how the word of God, this particular word, 2 Corinthians 8, 9, delivered you from financial crisis and how you build the house. So I know this word, brother. It is not that I don't know this word. Then I prayed for her for some more time. Then I received another word of God for her because the word of God is sent to every individual in a different way. And that may be different word too. That was Psalms chapter 90 verses 17, 90 verses 17. 
I'll, I'll just make it sure whether it is the right word or no one minute. I forgot because that day I gave. Yeah, correct. In the book of Psalms, chapter 90, verses 17, I gave. Also, I gave Colossians 3.23. Colossians 3.23. These two verses I gave to her and I said to memorize. The first one says a prayer. The Psalms to pray and we also must pray with the same David saying that, Lord, expand the work of my hands, which means give me the opportunity to have more job or more business, to expand the place where I am, especially in my work. And then the second word I gave is something very important where the Bible says, when you do any work anywhere, do it as if you are doing it for the almighty God, not for your boss, not for your honor. But do it for the Lord. Many times we don't receive a proper job. You know why? When we are working in a company, we don't expect the growth of company. We don't intend the blessings of the company. We intend only our salary. That's why we may be late in the office. We may be come out of the office very early. And we may not do the job properly. But we are always concerned about our salary. Because I am here for my salary. So only the assigned duty. Balance, it's not my concern. Many people are like that. When you have this attitude, God will not bless you in abundance, my brothers and sisters. When you're working in a company, your intention should be the growth of the company, the blessing of the company. Whether the owner is good or bad, that's not your concern. But you have been appointed by Almighty God to work in a company and work as if you're working for the Lord. Definitely the blessings will be there. When I said this to that lady, you know what she said? Uh, you would have told me this many years before, brother. I said, why? No, I was in Hyderabad and I was working in a company and it was quite good company and I was earning well, things were all right, but I never expected or I never intended or I never blessed that company to be blessed more and more. My intention was my salary, my salary, my salary. I was always very selfish. Suddenly when I lost the job only, I realized, oh, I made a mistake. I would have prayed for the company. The company would have survived and I, I would have been there at home only with my siblings and my mother, but now I am away. I said, take a decision now. Every day, when you get time, of course, you don't have a job right now, so you have full-time freedom, but still, make some time and go to the church. Now, you are in Dubai, you can go to the churches. There are two, three churches in Dubai. You go there and silently sit in the presence of God. Sit under his feet and listen what he wants to say, because if God send you from Hyderabad to Dubai with three months visa, and if there is only 10 days left for you to come back, and still if you do not get any job, I don't know how to answer you, but only God Almighty knows, because without his knowledge, nothing happens. Even one hair from your head will not fall without his knowledge, that's what he says. So if he, if he send you from India to Dubai, there is some reason. I don't know, but you sit silently in his presence, he will guide you. That's all I said. And every day she begins to go to church. Morning she will go for some time. Afternoon again she will go. Evening again she will go. One day while she was sitting in church, someone came and approached her. It is three or four days gap to come back. Her visa period is getting over. That person went and spoke to her saying that, I know you because I have seen you from Hyderabad. I am also from Hyderabad and I am working here in a company. She said, see, I have few days more to left to leave this country. And this is my situation. When she explained everything, that gentleman said, I'm working in a company and we are searching for employees. And this is the position what we need. What you are searching, the same job we need. We need an employee to do the same job. She was so shocked and so surprised. And she realized, Brother Mario once said that, you know, you sit in the presence of God. Sit under his feet and listen. God will. And you know what she did? She went to meet the owner, the kafil. All things got all right. And they decided to take her for job. She came back to India and got the visa and she went back there. And in the first month's salary, she sent 10,000 rupees to Philokalia Charitable Trust. And she said, whenever I am able, I will, because I have a lot of loans to repay now. She's earning very well. So my brothers and sisters, I don't know from where you are listening to me. 
you may be listening to me from india in any states from india or anywhere from middle east or anywhere from europe or i don't know from where but if you are listening to me i know that god want you to listen this that's why you are listening take a decision you are going to memorize the word second corinthians 8 9 right now look touch read hear memorize and then psalms chapter 90 verse 17 look touch read hear memorize and then the third one colossians 3 23 look touch read hear memorize and then every after breakfast after lunch after dinner as if you are taking an antibiotic recite this word in your mind you know what will happen that word will become flesh in your life the word becomes flesh something very important that word you know this three word of god will become reality and truth in your life <clears throat> remember one thing in every human being's life there will be some dark days you should never get depressed when you are in dark days just hope in the lord trust in the lord and the lord will bless you remember moses while he was in the womb of his mother the king announced if any boy birth happened or if any baby is born as a baby boy should be killed everyone look at moses mother saying that your baby should not be a baby boy but she gave birth three months they you know they hired the the baby in the nile river everyone must have look at this woman the moses mother and said poor woman suffering woman she was expecting a beautiful child but everything lost that is the concept of the people towards her but finally moses became moses a liberator for the entire community and society look at the life history of jonah one day the entire family and relative we keep then kin all were traveling in a boat so enjoying happily joyfully suddenly the cyclone and storm and tsunami and katrina everything together finally they reside they re, uh, realized it is just because of jonah and they decided to throw him into the deep sea when they threw him everybody were sad for one day second day they began to talk poor fellow there was lot of dream in his life he would have reached in a big position but in young age he lost his life his bones are eaten by the fish poor fellow they were so you know <laughs> weeping and crying and some were enjoying also but what happened for jonah after three days he said to show doing what god commanded him to do and if you look at the same with jesus all his enemies after crucifying jesus after the burial they were enjoying thinking that everything is over third day they heard the news again he is up this is what happens you have some days the dark days to go through you should never get depressed and you should not leave trust in the lord hope will never disappoint you if you have hope in the lord definitely he will bless you same thing would happen with paul you know saul while he was traveling in a horse suddenly a lightning and he fell down three days he could not see anything people said poor young fellow very handsome guy very powerful guy traveling everywhere on the horse but see he is blind now people mocked at him people said their own opinions so that is what happens in our life my brothers and sisters your neighbors sometime your own siblings sometime your enemies they may look at and judge many things about you but don't worry don't see what they see don't hear what they say don't think about what they say don't think what they think just trust in the lord with all your heart definitely the blessing is on your way now during this corona time i think last 3 years we all are suffering but this 3 days or 3 months or 3 years will pass this time will pass and there is a day for you as the days of blessings that is what happened in this lady who hailed from hyderabad and right now working in dubai 
earning well, able to support the family, able to support even Philokalia, trust. That's why I said, my brothers and sisters, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And when you're trusting, I want to say, your trust should not be very small trust, like the beggar. You know, one day, St. Peter was going to church. And there was a beggar inside, in, in, near the church with a begging bucket. He's saying, Aya, give me something, you know. He's begging with, with a cup, a begging cup. Peter said, I don't have gold or silver money, nothing. Throw your cup out. Get up in the name of Jesus. Many times we are beggars. We have a small cup, begging cup. And thinking only that much, a limited mind. Thinking I need only 10,000 rupees. That is more than enough a month. Thinking I need only a small room, that is more than enough to live. A limited mindset will never bless you in abundance. Throw that limited mindset cup. Say that I am the child of Almighty God. The creator of this entire universe is my dad. And he decided to bless me in abundance. And he decided that he will bless me so that I may be able to bless others. That is something very important, my brothers and sisters. When God blesses you, you must know that you must bless others with the same blessings. That's why God blesses you more in abundance. Many times people say that I need insufficiency. What all I need? Only that much. I don't need in abundance. Because the people, those who say that I need only what I want, they are very selfish. They are not ready to help others. But the people, those who say, I need in abundance, definitely they have a mind, the attitude to support others. So, throw the cup of that limited mindset. Only what I need, I need. No, I need more than what I need so that I can help the poor people hereafter. So my brothers and sisters, just like this lady from Hyderabad, who received the blessings through this word of God, I want you also receive the blessing through this word of God. If you are searching for the job, please recite all these three verses, 2 Corinthians 8, 9, Psalms 90, 17, as well as uh, Colossians 3, 23. And if you know anyone in your friend circle searching for job, that may be your relative, your kid or your kin or your neighbors or your friends, please share this video to them. They also will get the mighty blessings. Before ending this session, I want to tell you something very important, my brothers and sisters. As you all know that our Philokalia team is doing a lot of good works here in India. Especially, we have an ambulance service 24-7 completely free. Whether it is accident case or any case for the literally poor people, 24-7 free service. Not only that, we are supporting with the medication for permanently ill, sick people, those who are unable to buy the medicine, especially during this corona time, no work and no money, not able to take medicine, people are dying. So we are supporting hundreds and thousands of families nowadays. Not only that, we are building houses for the homeless, especially there are hundreds of families, thousands of families here in India, those who lost their own apartment or house during the flood and landslide. Every year it is happening. This year also many houses lost. So we are constructing houses for the literally poor and the poorest of the poor. More than 21 houses is under construction right now. Not only that, we are giving free counseling section in many languages in our office, as well as we are conducting motivation training seminars and routines, everything. And in our office, in Chalakudi office, every day we provide counseling free. It is English as well as Malayalam. So if any one of you would like to come and uh, attend the counseling section, you are always welcome there. So my brothers and sisters, before ending the session, I want to ask you to pray for us as well as to support us in our mission. May Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.